This whole thing is so disturbing. I am seriously considering calling the FBI. Why wouldn't you? Your dad is eating people. This is not okay. Do you ever just think, wow, my parents are weird? Well, your parents probably aren't as weird as this guy's. Yes, his dad is a cannibal. That means he literally eats people. Humans. Why? Why would anybody do that? And how? Why isn't this guy in prison? Or maybe he is. I really want to find out, so let's watch the video. But before this video starts, please make sure to leave a like to make sure that you are safe from cannibals. Headset on. Let's begin. Hey, I'm Steve, and hey, I'm Steve. in big trouble. I recently found proof that my dad is a real-life cannibal. Excuse me, what? That was a tiny woman tied up on a plate. I'm so confused right now. I'm not joking here, and I'm not sure if I should contact the police or FBI, but I know I have to do something. Dude, if you think your dad is murdering people and then eating them, yes, you should probably call the police. Because my dad needs to be stopped. I should have realized that he was weird when I was a kid. My dad always told me stories about a cannibal tribe in the Brazilian Amazonas. He told those stories with so much detail as if he had experienced it himself. Okay, has his dad gone abroad, met up with this tribe, and eaten people? Oh no! He said they normally only ate deceased people, but sometimes when they thought someone was a sorcerer or a witch, they would make an exception and eat that person alive. Okay, these tribal people be eating people alive. How? Also, that must be super painful. To make things worse, he told me they mostly accuse little girls of being witches. He also said that those indigenous Brazilian tribes would go out and try to capture men of other tribes. I love how this just looks like they're enjoying some KFC. But no, it's human. And then do a big feast eating them. Listening to his stories as a kid was scary. <gasps> This poor child is literally traumatized from his dad coming in and telling him about these carnivals. What kind of a dad would do that? But I was young, and I kind of thought my dad's obsession with cannibalism was normal. He also has a bunch of human skulls all over our house. And when I asked him where he got those from, he said he bought them on eBay. But I highly doubt that that's true. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to buy, like, human bones on eBay. <laughs> That's really weird. I also love how this guy is using a skull as a vase. Why? Because four years ago, he changed careers. He went from being a school teacher to becoming a crematorium operator. That is very, very strange. He went from a very normal job to a kind of normal but weird job involving dead people, which he probably likes to eat. Oh no. His new job is all about turning dead corpses into ashes, and it's his duty to treat those bodies with respect. But I suspect that he is taking those bodies apart and secretly eating them. How long have these people been dead? And does he know what they die of? What if he eats someone with like a terrible disease? The other weird thing he does is fly to Brazil once a year. Okay, that solidifies everything. He is hanging out with cannibals. How have you not put two and two together to make four? <laughs> He's a cannibal. My mom told me he has family over there, and I believed her as a kid. But does she believe it? Does she know if he has family over there? Has she met them? But why had I never seen my Brazilian family? And why had I never been invited to visit them? Well, one day I found out the <gasps> truth. Here we go, guys. The tea is about to be spilled. I went through my dad's wardrobe, and at the bottom, I found a hidden box. When I opened it, I saw several sets of human teeth. Okay, my first assumption, if I was to open a box in my parents wardrobe and they had a load of teeth I'd be like oh it's just my mom keeping my teeth you know like how they do I don't know why parents do that it's actually kind of weird but whatever they do that sometimes so that to me isn't that suspicious it was so creepy and there was one photo showing my dad wearing those teeth around his head surrounded by some indigenous jungle people boy are you dumb? He's hanging out with the cannibal tribe. Put two and two together, please. Oh my gosh, what the heck? He's straight chilling with a tooth necklace. <laughs> Why? Another photo showed my dad holding a spear in his hand next to some indigenous warriors. It looked like they were about to go hunting. I just hope it wasn't for some other humans. But now, I knew where my dad went once a year. This is like completely irrelevant to the story, but I love that painting. I need that in my life. That would 
sit so nice in my hallway. Anyway, back to the cannibalism. He visited the Brazilian Amazon to hang out with some cannibalistic, warmongering tribe members. Maybe he went on hunting other humans with them so they could eat them afterward. Oh! I hope this was all a big joke, but when I confronted my dad and asked if he had ever eaten human flesh, his response was so creepy. A big grin appeared on his face, and then he asked me, How do you know, son? Oh! <laughs> I hate this! If that was my dad, I would run. I would grab my pets, and I would be out at that door. Jeez, boy, save yourself before he eats you! At first, I didn't know how to respond, but once I had gathered myself, I said, You are a disgusting and evil psychopath. What's the difference between eating pig, bee, or human? He says, what's the difference between eating a pig, a cow, and a human? Are you joking? Who of those are animals that we farm and produce for meat? We do not do that to people. That is weird. Stop it. Is this even a real story? This seems so ridiculous. And if a human dies of a natural cause, then it's not evil to eat the corpse. It might not be evil, but surely it's not good for you. No! Because a dead person doesn't care. So that's why you became a crematory operator? So you can have free lunch at work? I asked him. I'm sorry, but what is that face? He looks horrible. Why have they chosen that animation style for his face? I hate that. Those are old and sick people. That would be disgusting. No, I'm just fascinated by dead bodies. It's really no big deal, he responded. Wow, my dad thinks that being a cannibal is no biggie. I'm honestly scared of him because I don't know what he is capable of. If he is willing to spend thousands of dollars each year to fly to Brazil just to eat other humans. Is that Dora the Explorer he's eating? Oh no, we need to stop this man before he comes after everyone's childhood icons. And he might also be willing to eat my mom or me. And one time, he asked me if I wanted to come with him to Brazil. He said it would be a great adventure and I could finally develop a taste for, you know what? He said it's better than anything else he had ever tasted. I literally cannot believe he's just asked his son if he wants to also join him in cannibalism. Excuse me, what? But why does my dad think that I am even slightly interested in cannibalism? This whole thing is so disturbing. I am seriously considering calling the FBI. Why wouldn't you? Your dad is eating people. This is not okay. But I don't want my dad to go to prison because then my mom would be very lonely. To make things worse, my dad recently bought a huge barbecue grill. I am suspecting the worst, but so far, he has only used it when I wasn't at home. Because that's not suspicious at all. So, I have no idea what he's eating on it. To be honest, if someone wants to eat my corpse after I'm dead, I wouldn't mind. And I recently read on the internet that more and more moms eat their own placentas after giving birth. That is horrible. I hate that. I hate everything about that. Stop this! Stop the cannibalism! This is the weirdest story I've ever listened to. It's making me feel sick. It's so disgusting, but it's one of the hottest trends out there. Kim Kardashian eating her own ew. I love that. Also, loving Pew Pew Pew, Creepy Spaghetti, their own channel. And Teletubbies, Peppa Pig, Nyanka, Squidward, and another Squidward video. Oh my gosh. I wish YouTube was a real thing. I mean, it is, but this version looks so much better. And even Kim Kardashian says she has eaten her own placenta after giving birth. I guess, as long as you don't hurt others, you can eat whatever you want. Unfortunately, I don't think my dad is following that rule. I don't agree with that. I don't think as long as you're not hurting people, you can eat whatever you want. Because if I just went and ate Kyle's phone, I think he would be really mad at me. So no, just eat food that's meant to be consumed, not humans. I assume that he goes to Brazil once a year to hunt for fresh human meat. And two weeks ago, he cooked us a nice soup with pork meat inside. Sorry, but I would not trust anything that my cannibal dad was cooking me. You could be eating human for all you know. Or so I thought, because two days later, he asked me how I liked the soup. And when I told him that it tasted good, I saw this creepy little smirk on his face. I'm scared. I'm so scared. What the heck? That face was terrifying. Which means that I might have already eaten another human without knowing it.
Please let me know in the comments what you would do in my situation. I think everybody would agree that they'd call the police. Or at least tell their mom. Why has he not told his mom? He's genuinely concerned that his mom might get eaten. You know, he should probably be warning her. Shall I forget about my dad being a cannibal? Or shall I contact the FBI? I mean... My dad is currently working as a crematory operator, which means that he might be eating your dead grandpa right now. Nice. Real nice. <laughs> Why? Why is he allowed to do this? Would you mind him doing that? Yes, I Thank would. Thank you for listening to my story. What in the world was that story? Seriously, his dad is eating people and he doesn't know if he should call the police. I have no words. None. They have escaped my lips. Ooh, okay, we have a bonus story. Let's go ahead and give this a watch. Hopefully, it's not as creepy as a cannibal. Hey, my name is Miranda, and I want to tell you why I got plastic surgery and whether it helped me win over my dream guy Jordan or not. Mm. It all started when I was a teenager. My Latina mom always told me I looked ugly because I didn't have a big butt or big breasts. Wow, mom. Way to go. Rule 101 of parenting? Never tell your child that they're ugly. Ever! She said I couldn't compete with the other girls unless I got plastic surgery. Well, it was easy for her to criticize me because she was born very curvy. And even in her 50s, guys couldn't stop staring at her. Her words made me feel very insecure about my looks. Of course they did. Can you imagine your own parents telling you that you're ugly? That is too cruel. But she was right. The guys at my high school weren't really interested in me. Especially my crush Jordan was completely ignoring me. He was without a doubt the most handsome and popular guy in our school. And I always wondered if he'd be interested in dating me if I got bigger butt and bigger breasts. Really? If he just wants to date you for your butt, then I say no, girl. Choose someone else who loves you for you. Well, for my 18th birthday, my mom gifted me a butt implant surgery. Okay, this parent is real, real messed up. Woo! The operation was brutal, but wow, after the operation, when I saw my ass, I was shocked. <laughs> it was so much bigger than I had expected. And when my mom saw it, she started jumping up and down, screaming and cheering. Her mother is jumping up and down because her daughter has a big butt now. What is this story? These stories are so ridiculous. And for the first time in my life, she told me I looked good. I didn't want to hide my ass from the world, so the first thing I did was upload a picture of my ass onto Instagram. Of course, my friends were all shocked and wrote, what the hell happened? I hoped they would be supportive. But when we met up, they all made fun of me and said I would do anything to get attention from guys. It hurt to hear them say that, and since then, we haven't talked to each other. Okay, it sounds like you got real messed up parents and you got real messed up friends. Girl, you need to evacuate yourself from these people and love yourself for who you are. I realized that if my friends didn't support my decision, then they weren't my real friends to begin with. I continued to upload photos of my butt, and in just over three months, I gained 10,000 Instagram followers. <laughs> She literally gained 10,000 followers from having a big butt. Is this what the world has come to? My mom told me I could become famous and that I needed my breast done next. She even paid for it again. After my breast enlargement surgery, every guy stared at me, no matter where I went. I probably looked a bit over the top, to be honest. But luckily, I live near Hollywood where many women have breast and butt operations. So I don't stand out too much. I do not agree with getting surgery like that just to impress someone else. Do it for yourself if you're gonna do it, but don't do it for somebody else. It seems like she's just doing it to make her mom happy and that makes me so sad, girl. You don't need it. And finally, I felt attractive enough to contact my longtime crush Jordan on Instagram. <gasps> he responded to me immediately and after a few days of chatting, we had our first date. Oh, that's real sad how he didn't care about her before, but now he does. That makes me feel like this guy might not be the best guy. At first, he couldn't believe we had gone to the same high school. He said he had never noticed me, so I had to tell about my butt and breast surgery. Luckily, he didn't mind. He accepted me for who I was, and we officially started dating. So it worked. Her plan actually worked. Wow. However, it was the worst relationship you could ever imagine. Plot twist! Hello! He treated me like an object and talked to all his friends about my butt and my body even when I was right next to him. Knowing that he was only with me for my body made me feel extremely insecure about myself. I was always scared he would leave me as soon as he found a better looking girl. But at least I had many guys interested in me anyway. Oh, you go girl, you don't need him. So I simply broke up with him 
and started dating another guy that had DM'd me over Instagram. He was a well-known DJ here in Los Angeles, and he treated me with much more respect. But then, after two weeks, I caught him cheating on me with another girl. Yeah, he seems real respectful. So I ended up breaking up with him too. It felt like guys only wanted me for a quick fling and then dumped me. They had no interest in a real long-term relationship with me. That's why I stopped dating guys I found on Instagram. Probably the best thing you could do, girl. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for her. It doesn't sound like she had a very good time growing up and even now with all of her fame. Instead, I signed up for college with the hopes of finding a decent guy there. I'm studying marketing and currently I'm going on dates with two different guys. I've learned from my past mistakes and now I'm taking things slow. I first want to get to know the guys before I jump right in. I also already know that I'll become a real estate agent because I think my butt and breasts will make me stand out and help me sell properties. So please understand that getting plastic surgery won't magically fix all your problems. I thought I wanted to date the most attractive guy I could find, but now I know that what I really want is to simply be in a relationship with a good guy that I can trust and who loves me for who I am, yes. not for the way I look. But at least it increased my confidence because now I feel comfortable in my own skin, even though the butt implants are seriously uncomfortable. See, this is what I mean. I don't mind if people get surgery because they want to get it. It's like your own decision, do what you want. But when other people are persuading you to do it, like her mom literally paid for her, I think that is so messed up. I feel like I'm sitting on two baseballs all day long. There's no way I'd ever be able to get a job where I have to sit on a chair all day. It'd be a nightmare. Just a heads up, I suggest thinking twice before getting plastic surgery. Well, it's a good job I'm not getting any plastic surgery. It's a good job that my mom's not forcing me into it. Those stories were just so messed up, dude. I, I don't know what to say. Wow, at least my dad's not gonna eat me. <laughs>